The winds never rest in the remoteness of the South Atlantic Ocean. Here, a small island emerges with great stories to tell. Once a natural fortress where the British crown exiled its most dangerous enemies. Today, a destination filled with secret wonders. However, the journey is tough. Five days by boat from South Africa. An airport was carved into the mountains, but was revealed to be too dangerous for commercial flights, for heavy winds crashed through the rocks and steep cliffs around it. The airway was locked. That was before the Embraer 190 arrived. Here, Napoleon Bonaparte lived his last years. Here, he lay down to nevermore. One can still feel the French Emperor and his broken spirit gazing at the horizon from these dungeon cliffs, so far from the continent he once ruled. On this land, time stands still. And Jonathan is its witness. He's the oldest terrestrial animal in the world. If he could talk, he would tell us stories about princes, soldiers and farmers for whom the island served as a prison. To some of them, as a final resting place. But for the saints, those born and raised here, it's a private paradise. They've grown deep roots in this volcanic soil. Kindness is all around, ready to be shared. Yet quiet is the airport. Not today. Five centuries after Portuguese navigators reached this island sailing the ocean, a Brazilian air crew took a similar route, this time sailing the winds. Their ship, the first prototype of an advanced aircraft known worldwide, the Embraer 190. With capacity for up to 114 passengers and incorporating fly-by-wire technology, this aircraft model performed successful campaigns in many difficult airports around the world. Today's challenge, to prove that a commercial operation in Santa Helena's airport is viable and safe when you've got the right tool. After several successful takeoffs and landings, the aircraft collected enough data to guide future operations here. But the decision whether the airport should open its gates to the world relies on the islanders' needs and well-being. And as the Embraer 190 takes its path back through the clouds, leaving behind the impressive sight of Santa Helena's boundaries, one thing became clear. It was not the island which remained isolated throughout the centuries, but the rest of the world.